Johnny was so excited he got to the shop early. Just wiring the starter. Oops, my wiring finally came in. Um, I think I'm gonna do it right. I'm not too sure yet. I feel so tired. I'm pretty tired also. I don't even know why I'm making it look nice. This does look pretty cool though, huh? I got the starter for the back. Fuel pump wired. Just had to ground it. Had to add one more ground. We're not gonna run no two sensors. I'm gonna tune it out. It'll just run really lean. And then starter wire is... You can't just run or hook up one O2 sensor? Well, no, I, I, I can, but the O2 sensor is gonna get smoked anyways. I don't wanna waste 50 bucks. This is the starter wire. This is the battery wire. I'm using the wrong colors, but I know what colors. Purple, start. Yeah. Johnny's just vibing. We gotta bolt these down. Yeah, I saw that. So we had a old Holly pop off the Bronco that was, we were running into a ton of problems. It was, ended up being a ton of pincher bugs inside the filter, which I guess caused some sort of failure somewhere. But um, yeah, we don't know what happened to that pump. So this pump works as we daily drive that one on the- That's just temporary. Yeah, that wiring is real good. It should start now. Um, hold on. There's no um, plug on the back. Yep. That was so much gas. This is a fire hazard now. Shut it off. Oh. All right. Here's the first startup. We had some. Fuel problems, some leaks, the build is full of gas, the starter sparks a little bit, but that's okay. Look at that. It's a little smoky. Um, the wiring job, A, a minus. Sounds gnarly. Can you open the door? Yeah, but it sounds really gnarly. Can you open the door? Because it's. Or is that oil? No, it smells like gas. It, we, this motor, we found it at the junkyard. So, quite a bit of smoke. It sounds sick. Does it? No. What? So, we got the motor running. We think it's getting way too much fuel because uh, it doesn't like shutting off. So, Johnny just rigged a little uh, shut off for the. It's supposed to, I don't know why it's not working. I think this is broken, this brand new, but I can't get the fuel pump to work on any other anything else. That's a trigger, but. So, so you just wild, basically wired a kill switch for that. Uh, it does sound pretty cool. It's very loud. So I'm gonna back up, maybe it gets quieter back here or something. Yeah. Which works good, so we're gonna try rigging this up as clean as we can. Also, the disclaimer to all the jet boat guys that are mad at us for not running a, uh, water to the pump. I know. Yeah, <laughs> we we know, guys. So we're trying to make the lines as best we can. I was supposed, to, I didn't know, but you're supposed to make the, all the lines equal length from the in and the out. But it's okay. We have extra motors, so we're gonna wire this up or finish wiring up cleanly well safer i guess is, but i wonder what the idle is we don't have oh, it's giving me such a bad headache we're not running any gauges yeah you don't zero. need gauges nothing if you if you it's just numbers if something's going wrong and it, no matter what if something was going wrong we'd still be driving back so we're just gonna make this thing as safe as we can get our life jackets i gotta put a bilge on it and yeah, hopefully we go to the lake today. <laughs> it's five o'clock, so we have 
two and a half, three hours before they won't let us back, uh, let us so on the lake. And we got to do steering lines. So if not tonight, we'll get the sink boat ready. So we go in the morning and go for like a quick little rip. It runs, it runs pretty good. The injectors, we forgot they're like 50 pound. 46. Oh, 46 pound. Four pound, pound per hour. Injectors, they're a little big. Um, I just adjusted the regulator a little bit. We mounted the alternator. If you have a goat built um, alternator bracket, you can flip it upside down and it mounts and get a 44 inch, I think it's 44 and an eighth belt. Uh, so that thing works pretty good. Um, put the new throttle cable on. We adjusted the steering, so now we have steering. Um, what else? Strong's been cleaning up some of his wiring. So this is just like a $300 harness off eBay. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of them because there's like no, I guess you could just run gauges or like a cell phone uh, with like a OBD2 Wi-Fi adapter. But um, there's just not much. I, just, I, I like them, but I don't like them. I like the Holly ones because they're really simple. Well, the motor, we were wondering why I was smoking so bad. We had the motor upside down for a very long time. So a ton of oils in the heads. Um, wow, you can see, really see that flake. Jesus, it looks like the dang rainbow. Look at it in the camera. <laughs> shoot, shoot the puta. It doesn't look like this crazy, but I guess it is pretty crazy. So yep, we got a, got a flaky boat. So we're gonna throw our seats back in and hopefully go to the lake tomorrow. Now I'm excited, even though everybody that was going to the lake today, we kind of missed out on that. But now we got an LS swap jet boat. So we're finishing up the bilge pump, put the motor in. I probably said that 150 times already. We're pretty much done. We hooked up this little OBD2 Wi-Fi reader so you could run it from your phone, which I will show you in a second. So it has your RPM. I'm gonna delete that one, then your coolant. So it's like 100 uh, degrees right now. OBD2 or OBD volts, so it reads all your uh, volts. We do have the alternator hooked up, and Johnny wired it right the first time. He's all right. Do like a half throttle pull and see what it does. The, 
I was worried about driveline vibration, but we're not, it doesn't really feel like it's shaking that bad at all. Got the box of tools. Okay, our box of tool kit, got our safe craft fire extinguishers and a whole bunch of water around us. So we're good. That's a big fire extinguisher right there. Oh. are good. just tuning adjusting the regulator subscribe to my youtube channel <laughs> 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 Issue because the injectors are way too big for it, but we didn't bring a laptop. 
so we can't really tune it, but he's having fun. We're idling back too, real slow, because we can't get, if I gas it, it dies. So, this is all we got, two, five miles an hour? No wake zone, the whole way there. 